Chapter 2, Section 2, Congress, Leadership and Committees. Leadership in the House. The presiding officer of the House of Representatives is the Speaker of the House, a position created by Article 1, Section 2 of the Constitution, but not assigned any specific constitutional duties. Instead, the Speaker's role is defined by the rules of the House, which are decided every two years at the beginning of each new Congress, and which are influenced by common practice. Typically, the Speaker is responsible for a variety of procedural duties, such as presiding over the debate, ruling on parliamentary disputes, and making committee assignments. The Speaker also determines when a bill will be considered for a vote by the House. Although the Speaker is elected by the entire House, the voting power of the majority party means that the Speaker will almost always be a member of the House majority. Thus, the Speaker always plays an important role as a partisan leader, using his or her influence to advance the legislative agenda of the majority party. Other leadership positions in the House are expressly partisan roles. The majority party chooses a majority leader, whose primary responsibility is to work with other congressional leaders in the House and Senate, including members of the opposition party, to achieve the majority party's legislative goals. There is also a majority whip, who is responsible for enforcing intra-party discipline by encouraging fellow party members in the House to vote in accordance with the majority party's legislative priorities. Similarly, the minority party chooses a minority leader and a minority whip, who perform analogous functions within the minority party. Leadership in the Senate the presiding officer of the Senate is the Vice President of the United States, who is designated the President of the Senate by Article 1, Section 3. The Constitution places a clear limit on the Vice President's power. Unlike the Speaker of the House, the President of the Senate may not cast a vote except in the event of a tie. In practice, the Vice President rarely presides over the Senate at all, reserving this duty for high-profile or ceremonial occasions only. In the absence of the Vice President, the responsibility to preside over the Senate falls to another constitutional officer, the President pro tempore, who is elected by the Senate as a whole. By tradition, the longest-serving senator from the majority party is usually chosen to serve as President pro tempore, and he or she often delegates the responsibility of presiding over the Senate to other members of the majority party. As in the House, each party in the Senate also elects assistant floor leaders known as the majority or minority leader and the majority or minority whip, who serve functions similar to those positions in the House. However, bipartisan cooperation has traditionally been more common in the Senate than it is in the House.